to spark up a bowl and tuck yourselves in. Once upon a time is about to begin. And we're going to tell the Nightingale uh, by Hans Christian Andersen. Andersen. Uh, this is set in Imperial China in yep. 1843. Yeah. And so there's this man and he's the emperor of China. And he's a Chinaman. Just like most Chinamen in China are. As you should know. You should probably know that. Because they're in China. And this was a long time ago. Um, so long ago that it, we should just tell it. So that you don't forget it. Yeah. Just in case the story becomes forgotten. <laughs> All right. So this emperor of China, um, he has an amazing palace. Yeah. It's a wonder of the world. <laughs> this This palace is made of porcelain. And is like super mm, very delicate. expensive porcelain. Is valuable. Yeah, like like million dollars. <laughs> not only did he have an awesome palace, he had a dope garden. Yeah, it had all the prettiest flowers, and they're all real expensive too. Had the rarest flowers, right? Yeah. And and the prettiest flowers they would actually adorn with bells, in with little to, silver bells that made them tinkle. He they would make the the prettiest flowers even more eye catching because they would they would make tinkle sounds like peeing. Oh. So they were really they grabbed a lot of attention and they would they because when you would walk by them they would make that sound. And it was all arranged according to plan. This emperor likes things in a certain way. And the garden was arranged in a particular way but like not even the gardener knew how oh. far and wide that the emperor's garden had actually went right take a journey with us and describe the environment that the emperor's garden becomes starts out as a garden with these pretty flowers but then you keep on walking and you get into a forest with like the tallest trees and the deepest lakes and you keep on going, and you enter an area where you're at the beach now. Yeah, and there's a deep blue sea, and it's beautiful. And it's amazing because there are boats that are on there, and the boats go by. <laughs> so the boats go and come by, and they get shade from the trees because it's right there. The trees and the ocean's right there, and it doesn't matter. It's super deep. There's no shallow part of it. <laughs> it just <laughs> drops. Boats could pass under the branches. Yeah. That's how far <clears throat> this, how, this is a giant garden the, em the emperor owns. Yeah. But right there where the forest meets the sea, a, a little bird lives there, the nightingale, and he sings. And he sings beautifully. Uh, uh, so beautifully, in fact, like, let's give you an idea of how, how beautifully. A poor fisherman who has a lot of, like, all, he's always busy. He would stop and listen to the nightingale and he'd go, that's, that's a beautiful song. Well, I gotta go now. And then he goes and forgets. It's, a, <laughs> it's super beautiful. So beautiful that he would forget it. Yeah. Well, he's a poor fisherman and he's got a lot to do. So maybe he's yep. just gets busy. But he listens to it again the next day. Yeah. And he says, wow, that's, he says the same thing. Because it is. And, you know, sometimes it's nice to, to have a second chance to watch it for the first time. Or hear it for the first time. Ooh. It is nice. You get to appreciate it twice. Yeah. You seldom get to do that. So you having... You never get to do that. <laughs> unless you have, like, Alzheimer's or something. Yeah. Or you're forgetful like this fisherman. All right, so you now you know about this emperor's garden, right? It is the wonder of the world, and travelers come and visit his his empire, and when when men are schooled, learned, they would write the books. They would write the books. <laughs> there you go. They would write books about the empire, about the palace, and about the the garden, and. They would not forget to mention how beautiful that bird sang. Mm -hmm. They would write about the nightingale as well. And um, these books would go around the world. And sometimes they would end up in the emperor's lap. The emperor would occasionally sit down on his throne and read one of these books. 
um, and he would be fucking stoked about how how like all the beautiful words that they're saying about his palace and about his garden um the, yeah uh, and the nightingale was the best of all he was the best thing about the emperor's empire and the emperor reads that and he's like what there's a nightingale i have i yeah. had no idea there was a nightingale yeah and then he's like confused like what and then he's like embarrassed like that's embarrassing and then he's pissed <laughs> off <laughs> He just goes through three stages of finding out <laughs> that there's a nightingale in his garden that he does not know about. Those yeah. are the three stages. He's like, how could everyone but me know about this? He's so mad. How am I finding out about this in a book? Like, yeah. this is my garden. This is my empire. How do the people know more about my possessions than me? Crazy. Yeah. And then he calls in his lord in waiting. And his lord in waiting is a... Because... <laughs> Go ahead. Because <laughs> if people that are lowly people talk to him, he just says P. <laughs> he wouldn't really give the time of day. Um, so he calls him in. He's like, mm-hmm. hey, dude, how does, how, how, what's this deal with the nightingale? Lord Wayne's like, I have no idea what you're talking about. That I've never heard of a nightingale. Mm-hmm. He's yeah. like, well, you better go find him and bring him to me now. Cause I want him to sing to me tonight. I and have to like, hear it. He's like, I have to you know, know what? what's in my empire. And he's like, you know what? I don't know who he is, but I'll look for him and I'll find him. He has to look all over the empire, but what does he do? He stays there and runs up the stairs and then he runs down the stairs and then he goes in the bedrooms and he goes into the corridors and he's like, I can't find this bird. <laughs> He comes back and he's like, dude, seriously, I looked everywhere and I, I, you know what? The media is total bull right now. Like for real, they're just saying stuff. You, you, you can't even believe the kind of, it's not all true. And some of it might even be like the devil's talk. There's no nightingale. I'm, I'm going to save you the time. Don't even look for it. He's like, no, listen right now. I'm going to, if you don't find it, I'm going to, I'm going to punch you in the stomach after, after you eat dinner <laughs> so now he turns he's like from confused to embarrassed to mad now he's violent <laughs> so now the entire court is along for the journey he's like we're all gonna get punched in the stomach we don't find this bird so look they up all down. ran up and down <laughs> the stairs and in the rooms and through the corridors <laughs> uh, but this time they asked people yeah <laughs> And they couldn't find anybody that knew anything about the nightingale. But apparently they go into the kitchen and there's a poor little kitchen girl there. And she's like, oh, yeah, the nightingale? Dope singer. Yep, I've heard her sing. In fact, this is like, this is how I came upon the nightingale. Yeah, I got permission to take scraps home to my poor sick mother every night. My mother lives way out by the sea. Where the watermelons grow. Yeah. So I go take him to her, that long journey, and I don't eat any of it the whole way. And I, I take I it want to her. To. I want to. <laughs> I'm starving. Yeah. And I don't meet any wolves along the way. That Goldilocks, psh, I'm better than her. <laughs> Goldilocks? <laughs> Very fighting, dude. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I was talking about Goldilocks today. That's funny. Um, so... Yeah, I take it to her, and then I get really tired, so on my way back, I stop and lay down and go take a nap. And I hear, and I listen to the nightingale <laughs> sing sing me to, uh, as I rest. Mm-hmm. And it's like, it brings tears to my eyes. It's like, yeah. it's like mom's there kissing me. Yeah. When you could have just stayed with your mom. And then he's like, oh my gosh, little girl, Chichen, you gotta take me. <laughs> No, chichen. that's her name. <laughs> kitchen, the chitchen girl. <laughs> and and then, um, yeah, and he's like, if you take me there, I'll make you scullion for the rest of your life. So basically, that, that's pretty good, though, because he could, like, threaten her with death. But he's like, basically like, so you can do nothing for, you can just in the kitchen there. for the rest of your life. <laughs> you can watch the emperor eat. I'll let you do that. Yep. Uh, forever, if you want. I guess it doesn't really do any harm. 
She's just gonna sit there? Yeah. That's fine. Hey, she don't gotta do work. Half the court now joins them on this journey. They go down through the forest and... And they pass a cow. And... It goes... Moose. And the dumb lord in waiting is like, holy I just heard it. That was awesome. And Chichen's like, no, that's a cow. We're not there yet. We've got a little bit ways to go still. Why don't you know what a cow sounds like? <laughs> that's kind of weird, man. And then they keep on going. Mm-hmm. They're, they're, they continue on their way, and they, they pass by a marsh, and they hear uh, some frogs croaking. And one of the courtiers is like, uh, oh, shit, that sounds like church bells. That's amazing. I I recognize that sound. And uh, the girl's like, "No, those are frogs." <laughs> um we we we're almost there, I think. Yeah, we'll be there soon. And then they hear the nightingale. And yep. it goes chick 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 clock clock clock. That's what it sings like. No. That's the song it sings. So, it <laughs> sings beautifully. <laughs> yeah, like that. And um, and then they're like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. And then the Lord in Waiting was like, dude, how come, like, look at this bird. Look at its throat move up and down like that. How come we haven't heard it before? It's amazing. It's a little gray bird that doesn't seem like oh, yeah. it should sound the way that it does. Yeah, it's not very appealing. It's yeah. very just plain. It's, it's uh, he's like, he may have turned pale at the sight of all of us important people. That <laughs> yeah. that might be why he's he's not so uh, brilliant in color. And the the ki- little chicken is like, hey, uh, Nightingale, would you uh, mind singing for the emperor? Uh, and the, the Nightingale was like. Heck yeah, it'd be my honor, of course. Here I go. And he goes, singing. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "Does that does did my song please the the emperor?" And and because he thought that the emperor was there. Yeah. And the Lord in waiting was like, "Wow, that's beautiful." But I'm here. I have the honor from the emperor himself. He sent me out here to tell you. He demands you. To go sing for him tonight at his court. Tonight. At his Demand court. you right now. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> and the bird's like, well, um, my songs typically sound better in the woods. Mm-hmm. But I, I mean, if he really wants me to, then I guess I'll go. And they go. Yep. And the, the now the palace is fucking... Beautiful. They're and polishing it. Beautiful. The polishing is beautiful. Polishing the walls and polishing the floors because it's porcelain. And they got like gold lamps that are shining mm-hmm. down in the, the corridors. And they got those tinkling flowers that they they had outside in the garden. They brought them all inside. Yeah. And, it, and then in the center of the room is the emperor sitting there with the gold thing perch for the... Uh, nightingale. That's right. I almost forgot what kind of bird. Uh, for the nightingale. And then it shows all the servants onto the side. And But the little girl's there too, but she's behind the door. But she's still there. They're lot, letting her be, let Chichen be there. Because she was appointed the imper- imperial pot walloper. Yeah, which a pot walloper is a man that owns his own fireplace. <laughs> Oh my god. So they just appointed her to be the man that owns his own fireplace. Yes. Hey little kitchen girl. Now you can be a man and you can have a fireplace. <laughs> uh, but, Where they put the pots to boil the pots. <laughs> and then the, the the bird comes in and sits on the perch and he I, I guess he just begins to sing and yeah, it's, it's it beautiful. sounds beautiful. It everything's beautiful. <laughs> Everybody's in awe of this bird, and the emperor's like crying. It's so beautiful, mm-hmm. and he he was like, "I love it so much. I want to put a golden slipper around your neck." Yep, I'm gonna take my slipper and tie it right around your neck. It's gonna be a nice little necklace for you. Um, 
But the bird's like, nah, dude. That's uh, not my style. It's not my style. <laughs> I'm really interested in your, <laughs> your slipper. Um, you cried, and that's enough. That's a mm-hmm. reward enough for me. All right, so there's some chicks that work for the emperor, too. <clears throat> and they thought the song was so beautiful that they took water into their mouths and gargled it at people. I'm hoping to rival the nightingale. They were the high, hardest to please wenches. The chambermaid, the chambermaids. lackeys, the lackeys and chambermaids were. Mm-hmm. And they were happy, so it was great. It was a perfect thing. This bird's amazing, and they decided that the bird would stay in the palace with the the emperor in a cage, and he would be able to go out on a walk two times a day and once at night. Um, and in doing that. He would have to have 12 uh, foot men. These are just giant guys, uh, about 12 feet tall, uh, holding on to ribbons that are tied to the bird's feet. So it can't go very far. So you're a prisoner. <laughs> Basically a prisoner. And the bird's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess if this is what the emperor... Sing pay. <laughs> as you please. <laughs> People around the town w- would talk about the bird, and where when the bird br- got brought up, uh, let's say someone w- could would say night, uh, and the other person would just respond Gale, <laughs> and that's just how they've <laughs> talked about this bird, I guess. Night Gale, I don't night know. Gale. The bird was all the rage. This was the bird was the word at the at this point. Eleven butch uh, pork butchers named their children Nightingale. Yeah, uh, but none of them could sing. Yeah, and they, they're they just little butchers. So one day, an emperor gets a box that was labeled the nightingale. And he was like, oh, it must be a, a, another book about my celebrated bird. Uh, he opened it up and it was a mechanical bird that was like encrusted with diamonds and ju- jewels. Jews. Diamonds <laughs> and Jews. He just had this Jewish guy hanging on a wing. It was weird. Those uh, were his diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> they were his diamonds. He didn't want to let them go, so they he said, the only way you're getting these diamonds is if I'm on his back. And that was a Jewish voice that I just did. Basically, this bird was a mechanical bird that when you wound it up, it would sing one of the Nightingale songs. Mm-hmm. And uh, it would wag its little gold and silver tail. And it had a ribbon tied around its neck that w- was inscribed, The Emperor of Japan's Nightingale is a poorer thing compared to that of the Emperor of China. He was like, awesome, this thing's dope. And he, he pointed the guy that gave him the package, the Imperial Nightingale Fetcher-in-Chief. So they're just like dishing out these titles everywhere. And he's like, why don't we have the two nightingales sing? together let's have a duet yeah and it didn't turn out so well no because the nightingale sang what came to his heart and the mechanical bird sang what he was programmed to sing which is one song so they were like let's just have the mechanical nightingale sing then this bird can sing forever and not get tired it can just we can just listen to this one and they do everybody loves it uh, and it's even pretty to look at so they made it sing 33 times and didn't even get tired. And the emperor was like, well, let's get the, the real nightingale another another turn. And the real nightingale was gone. He flew out the window. They're like, uh, this ungrateful little wretch. He was given a, a palace to sit in a cage and be tied to a leash. So ungrateful. Can't believe he wants his own life. Out in the wild. Where he came from. That really beautiful garden. Uh, And everybody was pissed off. Um, So they just had the the mech bird. Yeah, it was pretty to look at anyways. Yeah, they had it sing again, and it sang for the 34th time. It was a difficult song, so they couldn't like memorize it. Yeah, it was it was that kind of song, and the and the music maker was like, yeah, they're dude. probably all stoned. They were definitely stoned, because at that point the music maker was like, listen, that bird, this bird's the best one, <clears throat> because with a real bird, you never know what you're gonna get. Can't set expectations for a real bird that that does stuff by its heart. 
and a mechanical bird is perfect because everything goes according to plan and nothing is left to chance. So the emperor is like, we agree. This is a, this is a dope bird. And it's beautiful to look at. So let's have a concert next Sunday. And the music maker's like, okay. The whole town, all the folks, even the fishermen that we talked about at the beginning of the story, he, uh, he comes to the court to see the mechanical bird sing. And everybody loves it. They listen to it sing, and it goes, Z, 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 clock, clock, clock. And the emperor sang it too. <laughs> he loved it. And uh, everybody got tipsy on tea. And, but the poor fisherman, he was like, well, it's close. It's almost there. But there's something, something's kind of missing. I'm not sure what it could yeah. be. But the music master writes a 24-volume book about the mechanical bird. Mm-hmm. And it's really long-winded, kind of the way I talk, and full of hard Chinese words. One of the words. first manuals. It was, it was, <laughs> yeah, it was the, the first terms and conditions from iTunes. Um but everybody said they read it and understood it because they didn't want to be considered dumb or stupid and get yeah. punched in the stomach after supper. <laughs> That's the worst. Especially getting called stupid. After a year, everyone knows the song by heart. And they're like, Z, 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 cluck, cluck, cluck. This is from the book, I'm just saying. <laughs> but then one day, the, the mechanical nightingale, he breaks down. Something inside him pops and, mm-hmm. and he whirs to a stop. And he calls a doctor. Does he call it doctor? Yeah, he calls it. He, the emperor calls his doctor, his physician. And he's like, yeah, uh, you realize this is made out of like metal and gears and shit. I can't do anything with this. And the emperor's like, well, you make a good point. <laughs> Let so me he, get the mechanic. He, he calls the watchmaker, uh, and the watchmaker looks at it, investigates it, does his thing, and hums and haws, and is like, I don't know about this, and puts it all back together and, and talks to the emperor and says, Listen, you played it a thousand times. I don't know why you guys keep playing this song. Yeah, you need like, to give it a rust. I don't like, I don't, I'm done with this song. Uh, you guys gotta cool it. Maybe let them sing once a year because his gears are all worn down. And let him be. It's, it's beautiful to look at in that song. I get it. It's a catchy fucking do 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 clock, clock, clock. Get to stop, okay? It only lasts like five seconds and then you do it again. He's like, once a year, maybe. And even that is, is probably pushing it. <coughs> so, the music master, he's like, listen, guys. Blah, blah, blah. Whole bunch of technical jargon. You can't really understand what I'm saying anyway. Because I'm speaking English and you're Chinese at this very moment. And everybody was like, okay. He said it. it's as good as it ever was. So it, I guess it's as good as ever. And then five years pass. So dun, five dun. years pass and there's just like this sheet of cloud that... Just is going over everyone, and everyone's really sad. It's just very gloomy, and everyone's sad because everyone loved the emperor so much, but the emperor was sick, and he was dying, and everyone was sad. Everybody was like, I don't think the emperor's going to make it. And whenever people would ask the Lord in Waiting about the emperor, he would just say, pee. (laughs) And he'd shake his head. (laughs) Um, And they took it. And they were just like, oh, okay. Because they didn't want anyone to think that they were dumb, didn't know what that meant. They were pretty well assuming that the emperor was going to die. And yeah. And they had a, an, another emperor on call, an on call Yeah, emperor. they already had this dude, like, about to be an emperor. So they must not have done it the way other people do it, where it's like bloodline. Do you think he's just <laughs> sitting there warming up or something? He's like, all right, I'm going to be the emperor today. It's going to happen. Yeah, right, I mean, he's getting it. dressed, and it's, it's like, one of those scenes that, like, close shot up of, like, everything that happens when he gets stressed. Uh, yeah, like he's tightening his tie and yeah. pulling his coat close together and r- adjusting his wristwatch. And yeah, and then he, like, and then it shows him still, and then he just sits down on a chair. 
like getting maybe, ready for something to happen and then nothing happens. <laughs> <laughs> he's in front of the mirror and he's like, hi, I am the new emperor. <laughs> yeah. I am the new emperor. Hi, I'm the emperor. Or he sits down and then he reaches down and grabs up a mirror. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You are beautiful. You are strong. <laughs> People like you. You're going to be the emperor. <laughs> uh, but emperor, the the current emperor is cold and pale in bed. And they put like deep mats out in the corridors in order to muffle the the sound. So like it was quiet. It was dead quiet. And he couldn't breathe because it felt like something was sitting on his chest. And and one one night he looked up and he saw that the thing that was sitting on his chest was death and he was holding his crown and his gold sword and his silk banner and there were faces in his curtains uh, of every deed he's done everything all your decisions you've ever made in life are flashing right there and they're and they're saying do you remember they're like taunting, but then there's also ones that are like reminiscing, mm -hmm. and it's just driving you crazy. Because you you, you know this is it. Yeah. Death is on your chest, and, and you're being judged, and all of that. I'm coming back to you, but he's like, I don't want to remember. I just want the bird to sing. Just I I gave you gold and jewels. You're wearing my golden slipper around your neck. <laughs> just sing for me, but there was nobody there to wind him, so he couldn't sing. And it was quiet. It was dead quiet. And suddenly, the live nightingale jumps in, swoops in, flies Saves in. Saves the day. <laughs> like, dun, 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 dun. it's a bird. It's a bird. It's a <laughs> it is a bird. Yeah. <laughs> it's a nightingale bird. <laughs> she's singing and she's like, cluck, 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 cluck. <laughs> It's amazing. And death is even like, go on, Nightingale, go yeah, on. Yeah, keep singing, little bird. And the bird's like, wait a minute. You've got that sword and his crown and his silk banner. I want you to give that back, and then I'll keep singing. And death is like, all right, because that's a beautiful song. Yeah, I, I love Cluck Cluck. <laughs> I love ZZZ -Z -Z Cluck Cluck. <laughs> That's my jam. That's a hit single from 1843. Deal with it. After he said, give that stuff back, the death gave back the treasures for a song. The, and the nightingale sang on. It sang of the quiet churchyard where white roses grow, where the elder flowers make the air sweet, and where the grass is always green with tears of those who are still alive. Death longed for his garden. Out through the windows drifted a cold gray mist as death departed. So he sang about a graveyard, about a garden where people are buried and, and families cry. And that made death want to leave so, uh, and go back to his garden. So the night, nightingale sings on, and the emperor is he's th he's thankful, first of all. And he said, just go to sleep, rest now, and I'll, I'll, I'll continue to sing for you. And then he goes to sleep. He sings him to sleep and sings about stuff that makes him happy. But uh, the emperor wakes up in the sun, be beaming down on, through his window, and, and he's better. Like, that was it. And, and the nightingale's still there singing. And, and the emperor's like, all right, so I'll break the, the mechanical nightingale if you'll stay. And the live nightingale's like, no, don't break <laughs> it. It's done its best, right? It's not my style. <laughs> <laughs> it's still not my. It's not my style, yo. Don't be killing the thing. <laughs> I was like, I, I can't live in a cage in a palace. I have to be free to come and go. But I will come and I'll sing to you every night. He says, uh, I, I fly out to the farmers and the and the fishermen and 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 I I go all over the place, places that you can't you can't go and. So I'll be able to come back and tell you these stories and tell you about everything only on, under one condition. It has to be between me and you. No one else can know. He says, he says, the, Got a pinky uh, swear. <laughs> <laughs> he says, don't tell anybody that you have a little bird that tells you everything. Yeah. And he said, he promised. And then. And the people of the court were going to come in getting ready to probably move the body because they figured he was dead. 
and there's there are emperors lying there and he looks up at him and he just says good morning and they're like oh sh-. <laughs> this <laughs> changes everything <laughs> uh. <laughs> that's, it. that's a story guys <laughs> <laughs>